Yo. So I got my hair. So the World Cup so far has thrown a few surprises. And that's not gonna stop in the knockout stage. I've got a few shockers here. I think it'll be good, as entertaining as the group stage. You're not gonna get you're not gonna get what you exactly expect to get. Even the games might sound might sound more one sided, won't be so one sided. I think the gap between African football and European football has come closer, has come smaller, which is always great. The same with Asian football, um, with the likes of South Korea and Japan, and well, Australia and Oceania really isn't in Asia, but they are part of the Asian Federation. So yeah, and Australia have done well. Obviously, also we've got United States who've got through. Canada have made it to the World Cup, they need to build on this, because this should be a platform for better in the future. I think US and Australia, I think if they don't get out of this first knockout round, this time around, this should give them leverage to be better in four years time, and so on. And we want that, we want US to be a big nation at football who can push the powerhouses, who um, one day can dream of becoming one. Um, and same with Australia, and you know, um, dreams are there to be realised. And obviously, the footballers, the legends like Messi and the England lads, and so on, they dreamed of playing for England, and now they're realising that dream. So, yeah, it's fantastic, it's special, of course. Anyway, to get out, to start the knockouts now. Um, I'll start with this one. This is going to be a shock. We've always respected Dutch football and the Dutch. They're great people. You've always had great teams and everything. And you probably will win this game. Um, I put Netherlands 1, USA 2. Yes, I know a lot of people would disagree. And people are going to laugh at that, of course. But we could laugh at Saudi Arabia beating Argentina and so on. And Germany losing to Japan. Who thought that? So, yeah. Um... Then I think everyone expects Argentina to walk Australia. I'm probably in the heart, in mind, um, in my mind probably think so, but in my heart I don't think so. I think Australia give them a big, big battle. It might be a Messi, it might be a McAllister. But I think, winner, but I think it'd be um, Argentina 2, Australia 1. Yes, it'd be a close game. Australia will push them and yeah. And it'd be a great, great result for Australia, even if to lose, to bring home and say, look, we lost to a his team who've historically won the World Cup so many times, so many times and developed so many legends and so on. So, yeah. Next one, England's potential quarterfinal uh, opponents. France 3, Poland 2. Lewandowski might finally score a goal and set one up. Or um, Pat Matty Cash might score. But, um, or Milik. But I think Mbappe, Griezmann, and so on. You've got a phenomenal team there in France. And Coleman, of course. So I said 3-2 France. But Poland would push them all the way. And it might even be extra time. But like, France might win it. Next one. England, Senegal. Look, Senegal, English fans don't have a clue about Senegal. They think, they think there's some random team from Africa. No, they're not. They're the best team. They won the AFCON, African Cup of Nations. They're the champions of Africa. Now, we can't anymore trash that. And we can't anymore write that off and say it's nothing. Because it's massive, to be honest. African football is on the rise. This World Cup's proven it. African football, this has given them the um, step up to go up another level. And I think... Even without Mane, they got good players. I think England will nick it. It'll be an intense game. They'll give England go good pressure. They'll give England a good performance. They'll give they'll show their fight and what they're about. In normal time or extra time, two on England, a minute of class, 
Will England be as same as the US? No. I think England, the thing is, they probably expect it to be easier in one way, but they know it's not going to be easier. So, yeah. So, yeah, um, I put um, two on England. Next game, Japan, Croatia. Oh, Croatia. I never been to Japan, but Croatia an amazing country, such great people. Um, but Modric and so on, and Perisic are now... It's their last World Cup. They're at the end, the end of their career. But this could be the last games for their country. Um, I think Japan will be so, so motivated. So the adrenaline's going to be pumping through. They're going to be looking for this game. I don't know what class that Croatia got. But I come up here with a World Cup upset. Japan to Croatia one. Brazil South Korea. I did say three one Brazil. I think it would be three one Brazil, but I don't think you could ever wipe out South Korea when having a chance. They will make another shot on the Brazilian goal. Maybe two or three. One will go in. Brazil will score three. Um, Ricardoson, um, Rodrigo. What's his name? Um, look, fantastic team Brazil. And uh, three one, and South Korea, um, Kim Young Sun, or um, Anki Ju, where the name is at uh, Wolves. Yeah, one of them will score. Morocco against Spain. I put Morocco one, and I thought Spain will win. I know we can only dream of a big, big, um, one of the big favourites to win the World Cup going out to. Morocco, but I put Spain to win 3-1. Um, Portugal, Switzerland, last one. Now, this is the great one. This is the great one. Portugal 2, Switzerland 2. And at the normal time, in the extra time. Ronaldo's last game for Portugal at a tournament. After penalty shootouts, Portugal 3, Switzerland 4. Portugal, now this last World Cup ends in the second round. A shock. Switzerland find their way through Portugal. And yeah, that'll be it. Um, that's my predictions. I had to read them because I only just written them up like 10 minutes before coming on. And that's what I do with most of my predictions, to be honest. So yeah, cheers for watching anyway, people. Hope you have a great weekend and so on. Enjoy the great festiv festivities of the World Cup. It's a great um, festive, obviously, event of football for the world to unite and embrace this great sport. Cheers, I'm up, bye.